Hello, welcome to Natural Lossy. This will be a natural hair tutorial on my current hairstyle. Let me show you what the hairstyle looks like. Here's the front, top, left side, back, and right side. For a protective hairstyle, which is a low maintenance, low manipulating, and an updo, and you like this particular hairstyle, by all means, recreate this hairstyle for yourself. Or if you have clients and they like this hairstyle, recreate this hairstyle for them. I have received plenty compliments on this hairstyle, and who wouldn't like to receive a compliment on the hairstyle? And the hairstyle is for the benefit for your hair, and then not for the detriment because the way my hairstyle is prepared, this hairstyle, it didn't cause any harm for my hair, even though it does have extra help. Which means I went to the beauty supply store and I purchased two packages of the synthetic braid hair and my hairstylist intertwined the synthetic braid hair within my hair to create this hairstyle. However, if you're opposed to add extra help, which means the synthetic braid hair or conecalon hair or any other fiber that's not hair that's grown out of your scalp and you like the formation of this hairstyle, I do have a video already uploaded on YouTube entitled Twists and Turns natural hair updo that particular hairstyle it does not have extra help or extra hair added into it it's and it still has the same design as this hairstyle but it's just using my hair and again the entitled the name of that video is called twist and turns natural hair Up, updo and it is already uploaded on youtube if you would like to watch that video as well and i will put a link in the description box so you can just click on it and it'll lead you to the video for so you don't have to navigate through my youtube channel but uh, after I quit talking, you're going to see detailed footage of me. I'm not actually in the hair salon because due to an unfortunate situation, we were not able to be in the salon. So we, my hairstylist created uh, this style in the kitchen. So pretty much if you do your hair at home, if you do it in your kitchen and you have the uh, technique and the skill level to create this hairstyle, which is not that hard, you can recreate this hairstyle for yourself. And you're going to see more pictures of this hairstyle. And if you're not a subscriber and you choose to, I generally upload a video once a week, uh, a natural hair tutorial because I do visit the salon, but this time <laughs> a kitchen. <laughs> but she did recreate the particular hairstyle. She did create this hairstyle. And, but hopefully next week I will be in the salon for a, a new new style. So if you're not a subscriber and you choose to, please subscribe to Natural Lossy's channel so you can receive instant notifications of new video uploads and if you like please leave a comment in the box below thank you so much hope you like the video products used first my hairstylist washed my hair twice with the curls daughters tweed moisturizing sulfate free shampoo and when she rinsed that off my hair felt very moisturized and then she applied the curls daughters tweed moisturizing hair smoothie where she placed a plastic cap over my hair and i was sat underneath the hair dryer for 30 minutes for deep conditioning treatment then after the conditioner was rinsed off she applied the buttercream to my hair and my scalp and actually she was going to proceed with the style and i said hold on we forgot to put the leave-in conditioner in so she applied the character's leave-in conditioner and periodically she used the twist and define cream to create the flat twist of this particular hairstyle. We started off with the Caracare's Clear Protein Styling Gel, but she ran out of it, and then she proceeded with the Eco Styler Gel. And the Eco Styler Gel doesn't contain any alcohol as well, so I was okay with that. And then after that was, after the hairstyle was molded, she applied the uh, Curls Daughters Tweet Hair Oil to my hair and my scalp to seal in the moisture and she did use the edge tamer around the edges to make sure the perimeter of my hair looked sleek and smooth however she did use this pro she did use this product and this does con turn to contain alcohol but it gives an extra hold and i haven't had any issue with drying so that's okay so here's more pictures of this particular hairstyle and i absolutely love this hairstyle i really think i'm going to wear this hairstyle for longer than a week but we will see so here i am we're not in the salon, we're in the kitchen because we wasn't able to be in the salon, but she is still styling my hair with the proper products and everything. So right here, she is applying the buttercream to my scalp and my hair because she knows she's going to put a lot of gel on my hair and she knows she's going to put spritz on my hair. So she just wants to make sure that my hair is extra moisturized. However, at this step, uh, I do not have any of the leave-in conditioner on my hair because she almost forgot that step but as she 
uh, constructed the second twist and tear. Like, oh, we forgot to put the um, leave-in conditioner on because as she was styling my hair, I could feel that uh, she wasn't rough with my hair at all, but I felt it was more of a, it wasn't a smooth comb. So I was like, oh, we forgot a product. So when you are styling this particular hairstyle, please make sure you have your moisturizing element and your extra conditioning. The extra conditioning is the leave-in conditioner and whichever water-based moisturizer that you use on your hair please make sure you prep your hair with those particular products first um, before you proceed it doesn't necessarily have to be carrot hair uh, because that natural hair I mean the products that works on my hair I hope it works on yours but if it doesn't uh, natural hair is a, pretty much a trial and error in the beginning but I say once you find a product that works for you stick with it because I'm sticking with my carrot hair products because I absolutely love it so right now she has already made a part using the tail end of the rat tail comb and she has sectioned off the hair that she's not working on at that particular time with metal clips and please make sure which whatever products that and uh, accessories or clips that you use on your hair please make sure it doesn't snag or tear your hair because you want your hair to thrive even though you're creating a particular hairstyle uh, because for me I love wearing different hairstyles and I just want it for the benefit of my hair because my long-term goal is to have waist length hair and I just don't want any hair hairstyle to deter my uh, long-term goal but anyway getting back to this hairstyle she has a toothbrush actually it's a clean toothbrush ladies and gentlemen because she smooths on the front of for the uh, for the what is it called the edge tamer to make sure it's smooth so she used that opposed to a brush and then she's using the rat tail comb and she is using the spray bottle because Actually, I'm sitting underneath a, a ceiling fan at this particular time because it is rather warm in the home. So uh, my hair is drying out. So make sure you have a water bottle handy as well because your hair may uh, get dry as the pro as, as you proceed with this hairstyle. And you don't want that to happen because you want to make sure that the when you mold the hair, it's still rather moist and not dry because you do have to seal the hair dry to make sure everything seals in and make sure that the hairstyle sets correctly so she already made the part to con construct the uh, the flat twist I want to call it twist and turns but within that part she is making more parts within that initial part so you make your initial straight part whichever direction that you want your twisted ball to sit but within that part you section off within that part uh, I think I explained that poorly basically you make a part and then within that part you make more sections within that part little boxes as you can see right here because as you make the twist and turns that's the design of the of the particular hairstyle so if you can refer back to the pictures you can see that within the the first initial part then she creates oh gosh I'm doing a horrible job here she creates at one part a straight part an angle part whichever way that she wants the wants the uh, part to angle to where the twisted ball will be but in, in within that original part she sections that out into squares so in this one I think it's like four squares sectioned off in the original part and right now she's going to add the synthetic braid hair to that original part there but she goes she places it maybe like a fourth of an inch back and then what she does she just folds my hair over and twists it around to create the formation of the flat twist and turn for this particular hairstyle so if you could just look at her hands what she does is she's twisting it over a couple of times and she's making a loop on that first box section of the original part then she's gonna grab the second box part that she made within the original part and then she's gonna continue to twist and turn and then she periodically she does add gel to my hair and if you can tell she did not blow dry my hair prior to the formation of the twist and turns of adding the synthetic uh, hair to my hair all she's doing is she's twisting the hair around and then she's grabbing 
and and as she's going backwards she she's grabbing within the second box let me just explain this a little more I mean I know you can see her technique but when you make the original part you have to section the original part within uh, small squares which would be like maybe like four or five squares within the original part and then she just twists the hair around each other and um, if you don't want your twisted balls to be on the top part of your hair that might where you can notice that that's the end result of this particular hairstyle you can angle these parts on the right hand side of your hair the left hand side of your hair the back which whichever whichever way that you want this hairstyle to lay for if you're recreating this hairstyle for yourself or for a client but the the same technique follows suit you make original part angle angle to whichever direction that you want for ma for mine is going in the middle of my head because that's where the twisted ball is going to be and then you make boxes <laughs> which is more parts and then as you're twisting the hair around you're just gathering it around and then uh, when she stops in the back all she's going to do is she's going to put a metal clip on it to secure it because what I'm going to have to do is sit underneath the hair dryer and I sat underneath the hair dryer for 30 minutes to dry my hair and it wasn't a hundred percent dry it was about 90 percent dry but it was it was late when she finished and I, I just let it air dry the rest of the way but right here she's again she's doing that same technique twisting the hair around each other and those uh those box formations right there you see that she has one more part there that she has to twist around and then she's going to secure it with a metal clip so my suggestion is please if you're going to create this hairstyle please have plenty metal clips handy because you just want to secure because I'm a firm believer that uh, by, uh, rubber bands I think it breaks your hair off I know those packages has uh, non breakage but I'm just not buying into that concept so there's no rubber bands on my hair but if if you choose to put rubber bands on your hair you can secure it that way but if you want to pretty much recreate this hairstyle the way that my hairstylist did uh, just make sure you have metal clips handy and because in the back all she's gonna do is put a metal clip on that section so it doesn't unravel because the one that's one of the worst things you could do with this particular hairstyle create the formation of the design and not put a metal clip on it and your style that you just re, do you just create created unravels on you and you have to do it all over again so my suggestion again make sure you have plenty of clips and make sure that they they won't snag your hair at all so that that was the first twist and turn so right now I did suggest like I think you forgot to put the leave-in conditioner on my hair so right now she's gonna put leave-in conditioner on my hair for extra more moisture so she's gonna do that and that's why you see all this white residue that's on my hair but that's fine because it did dissolve in my strands I just want to make sure for the initial prep of of my hair and hopefully for you the initial prep you make sure that it's well moisturized you make sure that uh, the hair is sealed with moisture just so you won't have any issues and believe me moisture isn't just a product make sure you uh, try to drink enough water make sure you have a pro appropriate diet with all the nutrients that you should get I know it's hard believe me I know I see commercials out here advertising the good food which isn't the healthy food but if you can if you can try to at least get vegetables and fruits and and some protein in your diet and make sure you drink plenty of water um, your hair will thrive because basically what you put on the inside radiates on the outside so I just want to put that in for a side note so here she is she's gonna make a second twist and turn and she's doing the same technique what she did she used the rat tail the the tail part of the rat tail comb and she's just gonna twist the hair around each other and uh, she's gonna angle that same direction where it uh, end in the middle so for the progression and this video is only part one of a part two segment because it is rather long I just didn't want to go extremely fast when I fast forward this video so what she's gonna do on this segment you're just gonna see the formation of the twist and turns and you're gonna see me sitting underneath the hair dryer but then for part two if you wish to watch that you will see her forming the twisted ball on the front of my hair after my hair has been 
uh, dried and again it's only 90% dry because I didn't want to send it to her dry longer <laughs> longer than that so that's what she's gonna do she's gonna do the twist and turns over and over again and after this second twist and turn I sped up the video because she's gonna do the same technique and that's one of the benefits of natural hair it's so repetitive so once once you get going and you get used to creating that style um, it's it's practice make perfect pretty much so that's what she's going to do over and over again the twist and the turns of this particular hairstyle and it's the progression of this hairstyle you're going to see a lot of the white uh, product it's not build up but white product substance substance on my hair which it, it as she's forming it looks like it, it's going to be uh, a mess but it really wasn't because as you're going to tell when I get from me the hair dry and the pictures that it turned out rather nicely so when you're creating this hair sign you see the white product of the moisture uh, products that she put on my hair which is the buttercream the leave-in conditioner and the twist and define cream it, it works it works out fine because a lot of people shy away from adding extra help to the hair because they feel that it might cause damage to your hair because your hair has more soft uh, is softer uh, uh, texture than what the synthetic braid hair is but I only keep my hairstyles up usually for a week I may extend this hairstyle because it still looks nice so it's up to you as long as you don't keep your the synthetic braid hair out connect a hair or whichever fiber that you purchase at a at a hair supply store as long as you don't leave it in for an an extended long extended amount of time such as maybe like a month or two uh, I don't I don't think you'll have any problems so just want to put that out there so that so I'm gonna speed up the video but she's gonna do the same technique over and again over again she's gonna make an original part and she's gonna break the original part up down into about four or five boxes and then she's gonna add the synthetic braid hair to my hair and she's gonna twist the hair around and then she, and when she first puts if she places the synthetic braid hair in the front she twists around her hand her finger maybe like two or three times before she proceeds to the back to uh to uh sorry she twists the hair around her finger maybe like two or three times before she proceeds to the next section which is the box of that original part to keep going to create the particular hairstyle so and she does this over and over again and I guess she's gonna form she's gonna form it to go to the top of my head because that's where the twisted ball is located and you know each one of the original twists she does add gel and if you're well if you're creating this hairstyle please put gel on your hair to make sure it stays but make sure the gel that you use doesn't contain alcohol because at all precautions I'm trying not to put any product on my hair that contains alcohol but unfortunately at the end I mean she did spritz my hair with the pump pump it up and I know that <laughs> that product has a lot of gel because my hair did feel a little sticky however she did the um, preparation now, again she has a lot of moisturizing elements on my hair and I'm doing my part as well is to drink plenty of water to hydrate on the inside and I have worn this hairstyle for three days so far and I have had to use the buttercream on my scalp once all I did was put it in the palm of my hand and I meshed it into my scalp and then I follow suit with the tweet curls out of sweet oil to lock in the moisture and I didn't have any issues after that so as I stated earlier you will see this white residue or white substance which is the buttercream the twist and the fine cream and the leave-in conditioner but that's fine because that will dissolve in your strands so uh, I, like I said it looks like it's a mess right now but as the as my stylist I mean her skill level I really think is up there so she knows that even though this white residue that she's looking at and the preparation of this hairstyle she knows the end result it'll come out just fine so if you recreate this hairstyle for yourself it'll come out just fine as well so here we are the same thing over and over again and I can tell you um, I, like I said we wasn't able to go into the salon but she brought the products over and she was able to recreate this hairstyle so you don't necessarily have to be in a salon to create a nice hairstyle <laughs> you can be in your 
your kitchen and the hairstyle will come out right. It's just you just please have patience because this hairstyle when she created it, it did take five hours. I'm not gonna lie to you. And that's including the wash and the uh, dry the wash the shampoo condition deep conditioner and then when she uh styled my hair it took a total of five hours but i i'm an individual i will i will invest hours in a salon right now i'm hours in the kitchen as she's preparing my hair because for the week that i do uh wear my hair all i wear the hairstyle all i do is tie my hair up at night with a satin scarf and in the morning Usually I just take the scarf off and go, but I did have that one particular day I did have to um, put some twisting, no, put the buttercream on my scalp and the oil. It took me less than one minute, and I did put some edge tamer around my edges, and I was out the door. So if I can have a hairstyle with minimum work for me during the week, I'm okay with that. So um, it's whatever you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable sitting down for maybe like five hours to get your hair prepped. Maybe this isn't the style for you, but if, if you're willing to sit for that length of time, uh, by all means, please recreate this hairstyle for yourself or recreate this for a client because I kid you not, every day I have received at least four or five compliments on this hairstyle and they ask me who, you know, who did my hair and um, I'm more than happy just to let them know, uh, but I have to make sure I get their number and then I'll proceed to my stylist and I'll let her know that this person is interested and she will you know give them a call and skip and then that's on her because I have nothing to do with how many clients that she, she takes in I just pass on the information to her so just want to put that out there so she's almost finished prepping my hair into the flat twist and turns to create uh this is her style. so a lot of people use a brush she likes to use a toothbrush to really sleek up the edges of my hairstyle so I'm just telling you that that's what she used and the hairstyles that she's created for me kind of nicely so if you want to rip this hairstyle please brush and get a clean toothbrush to put it in the gel to sleek up the edges to make sure the hairstyle is sleek and smooth well this hair uh, this first segment is almost uh, completed and uh, what she's gonna do is she's gonna uh, spritz my hair with the uh, pump it up and then she's going to uh, grab that hair up and I'm going to set the hair dry for 30 minutes so I want to say thank you so much for taking time to watch segment 1 or watching any of my videos so please look for segment 2 I said uh, wrap up this completion of this particular hairstyle here I am underneath this hot dryer if you can see after shades to the right it is dark so please see part 2 inside a cute flat twisted twist with a twisted bow natural hairstyle for the complete tutorial thank you and have a great day